Hey everybody, Mr. Bush here. Um, this video is to show you guys how to, or what's going on with our um, choice bar this week and next week actually. Um, so here we go. Uh, first off, um, the choice board. So the, always the easiest way to get to the choice board is to check your to-do list over on the right here. Um, this one is called week eight, nine, and that's because We've got a short week this week, and then next week is kind of our last week. I'm making it due on Wednesday um, so so that you guys have a little extra time. Also, it's there so that you guys have a little extra time to either redo or turn in any work um, that you need to. So let's talk about the choice board first. Um, so the right here, I've got it open. Uh, the choice board is right here. Um, notice it's uh, I've got some uh, text right here for you guys to to read and talk about or read and think about um, the choice board. It's the same as last week, um, really. So we have the Tinkercad challenge. We've got um, which I'll explain in a separate video. Um, we've got the choose your own adventure, um, and we've got the Nike fitness design challenge. Um, that is actually due today. Um, if you want to submit to the competition. If you don't, if you want to still just start or keep making a video for, for Media Lab, that's great. And then if you're working on a podcast, that's great, but the the podcast was due to the competition last week, so and I needed to have your parent permission by then. Um, but anyway, here we go. Um, so yeah, it's the same as last week and the same, um, the same stuff. So choose your own adventure, um, I think. So I added um if uh if you wanted to you could add the uh the scratch platformer tutorials um a lot of people have been making some great stop motion videos uh either for this class or another class and they submitted it to this class as well so way to work smarter and not harder um the pixel art you guys have been making is amazing i really have enjoyed it a lot so keep up the great work um and remember um that i always need that comment um about what you guys are doing so that you know it, it helps me kind of figure out what you're doing and and helps you reflect on um, on your learning so that's really good stuff um, the weekly Tinkercad challenge um, there's going to be a video right here about what you need to do to turn in um, but basically what I'm going to be looking for is uh, for you to really show off um, the <laughs> island that you created um, and my gosh they've been amazing um, it's really cool um so yeah the um when you're finished make sure you submit that comment that's really important um and then here's the uh the rubric on what i'm looking for um last but not least um when you guys are turning in your screenshot for this one i want you to try to turn in your best one and what i'd like to do is take make a like a compilation of kind of the the really the ones that have really impressed me um and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them into youtube and i'll i'll put that out on the last week to really kind of celebrate the really cool work that you guys have been doing so um so yeah keep up the great work and i can't wait to see um what you guys put out i also want to take this time to talk about grades um this is really important so if you um have any grades may or if you have any missing work um, make sure you try to get that to me by june 5th um if you need extra time um let me know and i can make that happen um you know i can be super flexible but you got to let me know you got to kind of communicate that hey mr bush i'm really struggling with this or i'm not sure what to do on this that's okay and you guys have been doing a great job with uh with email communication the way you get there is by clicking on grades to make this go faster, I've already opened this in another tab. So this is just an example test student. Um, so notice that there's a lot of missing work here. This is what it looks like when you don't have work turned in. Um, the, the dash right here shows that there's no work turned in. Um, if it says late, remember I've been saying this all year, I'm not worried about if it says late. Um, because if you resubmit something and it was after the, the supposed due date that I put into Canvas, it's going to mark it late. I don't worry about that because I really want you to redo and make your work proficient. If for whatever reason you don't have a full score, you are more than welcome to do that up until June 5th to redo that as many times as you need to. Um, 
And remember also, I've also really tried really hard to give feedback to you guys so that you know what you need to focus on and improve on. Um, there's a couple of things here. There's always the rubric, which shows right here. And usually I've put out what the rubrics are, remember, right here. If we click on the choice board, we click here. Um, and you click down here. I've told you exactly what a four is or a three is or a two is. So you can go and check that. Second, um, I've, um, I've usually left a comment. Um, uh, there's a, there's usually like a comment, um, like right here. So if, um, you know, you turned in a wrong file or something just went wrong with your assignment, I had to mark it as a one because it's not proficient. Um, or at least I, I couldn't see it. I, I work with the evidence that you guys give me. Um, you know, I'm really well, welcome to regrade it and as, redo this stuff as many times as possible. Um, last but not least, remember that I can, you can always also click on the, uh, on the assignment. And if there's no comment, especially, um, I've sometimes written on the assignment. So if you click view feedback right here, um, you can see if I've written on the assignment and, uh, let's see if I did on this one. Yeah. So like this one, uh, it says screenshot right there. I've written a little, little comment. You can see that. So, um, I really want you guys to do the best you can. And I have trying to give you guys the tools, um, that you need to do that. But really uh, in the end, you guys need to do the work. Um, so, and I'll help you get there. So, like I said, if any of this is you're, you're not sure about that, please like email me a specific comment, say, Mr. Bush, I'm really not sure about this part. Could you explain that again? I'm more than happy to do that. Um, it has been a pleasure working with you guys this year. Um, I really love this and I really <laughs> love working with you and I'm hoping next year, um, you know, to really get the chance to uh, work with you again if you're in seventh and eighth, uh, sixth and seventh grade and in eighth grade, um, please feel free to stop back anytime. Um, I miss you guys. I'm looking forward to when this is all over so we can get back to um, a better normal. Anyway, have a great one. We'll talk to you soon.